Here with Jason Perillo, uh, boxing coach and instructor for BJ Penn. One of the things you and I have talked about over the years is the importance of you don't want to see BJ compete at 170 pounds. You liked him at lightweight. Now you got him at 145 pounds. When that came about, what went through your mind? Of course. That's where the first thing I said was, of course. He's like, hey, we're going to fight Frankie. We're going to fight him at 145. I'm like, holy. Oh. You know, as, as you know, we've talked about this many times. Um, I was always campaigning to try to get him back down to 155, and BJ likes to shock and be unpredictable, and he said, you know what, let's go to 145. Make a point of it, you know what I mean? So, that's BJ, what are you going to do? The one thing people were asking about, I don't think BJ can make 145, I said, but listen, you got Jason. Jason's there, Jason Prillo's there, he will monitor everything. What was it like leading up to this fight? Because well, it's yeah. only... Uh, yeah, go ahead, go, go, go. What was it like leading up here? Was there a situation where you had to pull that babysitting cord again? No, 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 not so well. The thing is, BJ, I've been monitoring mostly, I guess, at the end of the day from my house, because he's been in Hawaii, B BJ's been in the Valley, and uh, and um, he's been, he's been, he's been so... Let me tell you the biggest difference in this fight and the other two fights, the biggest difference, bottom line, is the hunger. BJ's hunger is there. He's always got to be there to get 155, but when he's been at 155 before, the roles have kind of reversed here because Frankie was where BJ's at right now when they first fought. You know, he did, you know, he wasn't in the light. He wasn't in the starlight. He was, he was the up-and-coming guy. BJ's almost this new up-and-coming guy in 145 pound division, you know, and he's hungry for the title. Frankie's been around the block, he's had the title, he's lost the title, he campaigned for another title, lost that title, you know, so he's seen the ups and downs now, so, you know, and having kids, and, and, and I know he, you know he just had a newborn baby as of recently, so, I mean, there's a lot probably, uh, where he's at mentally, I believe, is where BJ is more at mentally when they first fought the first couple of times. And I think BJ's at where he's at mentally. You know, he has the hunger that Frankie had when they came into the first couple of fights. Well, the media were talking about the fact that if BJ Penn emerges victorious on Sunday night, he could bypass a lot of people and get a title shot. Do you mind that argument? You know what? I... In my mind that he deserves a title shot? I, you know what? If this is the UFC. You know what I mean? At the end of the day... These guys get it, 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 it's it's what you show that night. You're as good as your last fight, and that's, that's true in that in this, in this in this sport in the UFC because you know they want the best fight. They want the pan. It's almost like the fans are picking who they want to fight. You know what I mean? And I think the fans like that too, though. I think they like it. But in all reality, when there's a guy that really doesn't deserve a shot, you know they're going to say no. But BJ. He can't ever in any division. If he wants to go up to 205 and he beats his first guy, you can arguably say he deserves a shot at the title. <laughs> so much at stake on Sunday night when BJ Penn takes on Frankie Edgar for the third time. You can catch that fight on Sportsnet 360.